Hi, welcome to another Smart Home Sunday. It's Home Assistant time and Energy Dashboard. Yes, I'm going to show you something on the Energy Dashboard today. This isn't just another video of me talking about the Energy Dashboard. I'm going to show you what I've got set up. If you've been following along the last few weeks, I mean, why wouldn't you be following along? I know you've hit subscribe, but do it now if you haven't. I have been playing with these high home plugs. I got them flashed with Tasmoda. I got them added into Home Assistant. Now I'm talking to them and getting all sorts of measurements off them via MQTT. And today I wanna to show you what I've got in the energy dashboard. Very easy to set up, very, very easy. So, energy dashboard. Here it is. Look, look, look. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have some plugs here. I have a little bit of a display there. Let's have a look for the week. Yeah, you can see this has been running, not with all the plugs, but just a couple to start with. And uh, yep, you can see some kilowatt hours being consumed there. So I've got three of these in there at the moment. Now, once you've set up uh, when you first go into the energy dashboard, you can start adding and editing here. But once you already have something there, you need to go into configuration, then down to dashboards, and then click on the energy dashboard, and there you can see it. So all I needed to do was add a plug in here. So what do I want to add? I want to add an entity, and so you could just see their equipment rack. Or oven or something else. I did have one for the smart home speaker. I don't know where that is. It vanished. It's disconnected itself. Hmm. But you can see that that would be the point. Hit washing machine and then tracking costs. Well, for me, yes, I do want to use an entity with a current price. So I have an entity installed. Yes, I did a video sometime in the past about the spot price available here in Finland and across the Nordics. There is a Nord Pool integration that you can set up for Home Assistant and I have it installed. So when I come into here, I can find Nord Pool and there it is, I have a sensor and I can then add that in. So. Once you've got your devices added in there, I can now go and have a look at the energy dashboard and I should start to see some, not just consumption, but down here you can see cost. Uh, there is something wrong here though. <laughs> yes, that's not the real cost. Electricity is a little bit expensive at the moment, but just let me tell you, for three kilowatts, uh, three kilowatt hours, you're not going to be paying nearly nine euros. What's going on here? Well, when I added my Nord Pool entity onto a dashboard, onto my playground here, I could see the plugs and some usage, that was good. But you can see up here, the current electricity price is 4.665 cents per kilowatt hour. The energy dashboard seems to be expecting euros, not cents. So I need to move the decimal point. So let's do that right now. So if I go into my file editor and I'll go and edit the Nord Pool uh, item there. So I'll just open up my configuration YAML. So I'll find the bit, I don't want you to see all my secrets in there. I don't know, there's a password maybe in there or something. I don't remember. But let's just have a look. File editor, YAML configuration. Now this is where the Nord Pool is set up. Uh, it is, it's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah, you can look at this. So Nord Pool, Prices include that. Yes, true, I want euros, but here it is. Price in cents, true or false. Make it false. Save. You know, I'm probably gonna have to do a restart. I'll just do a full restart and check the configuration. That's valid. Let's just do a full restart. I mean, you can just load your configuration again, or automations again, without having to restart the whole server. But I don't know, there could be something in the background there that just needs to be restarted. 
because of the way the integration for the Nord Pool is set up. But it restarts pretty quickly, don't worry. You don't need any elevator music from me to keep you entertained in the meantime. Uh, let's just have a little look here. I think it's coming up now. There we go, already started. Let's go and have a look at the energy dashboard. Well, let's at least see now. Here we go, this is right. Now the current price is 0 0.047 euros. That looks right, it's still 4.7 cents. But now when I go into the energy dashboard, uh, I'm gonna see still the expensive price. And this is where you really need to read the manual. When I first added these in, it says very clearly on the screen, wait a couple of hours before some data comes up. So now that I've made this change, I need to wait a couple of hours to see that new price being used, but then it will be accurate. And that's pretty cool. I think I might have enough money this month to buy a few other smart plugs so I can measure a few more devices around the house. Like, subscribe, that'll help me. Watch a few more videos if you're interested. There's a few that I've mentioned in this one. That, that'll help as well. Uh, I'll see you next week. And we'll check in on the dashboard and see how it's looking. I think it will be time next week to do some shopping. And thank you again for watching. I hope this was interesting. Maybe it got you a little intrigued to want to build up your own energy dashboard. Although you've probably got one already. Yes, I'm just the newbie playing catch up. But it's fun. See you next time. Bye.